Hey, I've got a good question from Anil in Japan. Uh, it says, Dear Don, could you tell me how to choose the right songs for worship and how we could choose the right worship songs? There are so many Christian artists and songs, but how can you know if they are the good songs meant for your church? What does the Bible say about choosing worship songs? Well, you know, it really, really doesn't say a lot about choosing uh, how to choose the right worship song. Um, you know, Ephesians 5, uh, verse 19 says, to speak to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So we do have some guidance there. Um, in the book of Ephesians, but you know, picking the right songs uh, for your church uh, is a challenge. By the way, I have a whole, um, I did a series, a worship a master class series, and I talk about this in the series, you know, how to pick the right song. This is a big deal, and I, I would say to you that one size does not fit all. In other words, uh, because of uh, YouTube and the internet and uh, so, so many uh, uh, resources available to us today. We, we can look at what somebody around the world is doing and try to uh, try to overlay that into our situation. And it may not translate very well into your church. You need to understand who your audience is, who your church is. And I'd, I'd really ask the Lord to give you wisdom uh, to, to select the right songs for your church. Um, because uh, that, that's your job. You can't just go to the internet and say, everybody's singing these five songs, of course they're gonna work in my church. No, it, it doesn't translate always that well uh, across the board. So you need to look at your congregation and find out who they are and what they like and what they're going to relate to. If you have an older congregation, you might wanna go back to some, uh, some familiar hymns. Um, if you have a younger, congregation, you, you might uh, do well pulling from YouTube or the internet and see what the younger churches are doing, but uh, really ask the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom uh, to find the right songs for your church. Uh, and a really simple uh, guideline that I use is just finding the right song in the right key. As a worship leader, you need to be a very good song policeman. In other words, you, you need to really scrutinize the songs that are coming. Like you said, there are many, so many Christian artists and so many Christian songs. What is going to work in your church? And it uh, really is a, a good question and something you need to pray about. Uh, but you might find a great song, and I, I use this illustration a lot, for instance, Chris Tomlin's song, How Great Is Our God. He does that in the key of C, uh, but when I sing it, and I sing it a lot, I'll do it in the key of G, one-fourth lower than he sings it. Because if, uh, when I look at the congregation I'm leading, if there are some older people there and a lot of men in the church, a lot of times they're not going to pop that high E, sing with me how great is. So I put it down in the key of G where everybody can access the songs. Uh, hymns, it's a good illustration there too. A lot of hymns are written for soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. So they're written in a higher register. And nowadays when people sing a hymn, they're not singing four-part harmony in your congregation, usually, uh, but they're gonna be singing the melody. So you need to drop the melody down into an accessible melody. And by that, I would say anything from uh, C, an octave below middle C to Middle C, this, that's a good rule of thumb, from C to C, to C to shiny C. <laughs> anyway, from that range is kind of right in the pocket of most people. So I would look at the hymns you're gonna sing and drop them down in a key that people can access the melody. If you find a great worship song, put it in a key that people can sing, otherwise, They'll just sit there and look at you and watch, and, and you'll think, I picked the wrong song for my congregation. You might have picked the right song, but you might have uh, put it in the wrong key. So uh, again, I would encourage you to check out my uh, teaching on this, uh, 
uh, on the um, worship leading, and we talked specifically about picking the right songs. Um, you, you made an interesting, I don't know if you intended to do this or not, but you, you said, could you tell me how to choose the right songs for worship or how we can choose the right worship songs? That was an interesting, I don't know if you intended to do that or not, but the right songs for worship and the right worship songs. So when I think of a worship song, I think of a, uh, a, a, a praise and worship specific song. The right songs for worship, when you come together as a community for a worship service, uh, there might be a really, really appropriate song to sing that may not be congregational. It may be more presentational. A soloist presenting a, a, a song of encouragement, a song of testimony. Um, but there's plenty of room for that too as you're planning your worship services. If there's a mo song that is more soloistic in nature, uh, let the people sit down and bring your soloist up to let them listen to that. That's more of a presentational moment and that's just fine if, it, if the theme seems to fit in with your pastor's sermon or something like that. But uh, that was an interesting um, um, uh, question picking the right songs and picking the right worship songs, to me there are two different things, you know, because there's, there's a time to sit down and listen to a song, more of a presentation, maybe a song of preparation for the offertory or, or for your pastor's sermon, and there's a time for corporate singing uh, for hymns or for uh, worship songs. But again, some simple guidelines, right song and the right key. Uh, that you can't go wrong there. So uh, God bless you. Uh, Anil, thank you for your question. It was a good one. And I pray that God will continue to guide you and lead you. And don't forget the scripture in Ephesians 5.19, psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. There's a good guideline as well. So uh, uh, God bless you. I look forward to seeing you in Japan, uh, maybe this next year even. If you've got a question that you want to ask me, you can go to donmoen.com forward slash ask Don and I will give it my best shot. Hey, thanks a million for your question. God bless you all. Make it a great day.